Right, Steve, I want to have a word. Doing me nothing, mate. <laughs> but your wife's lovely. <laughs> as we were coming up to a junction um, all the traffic was stopped the traffic lights were changing but we were stopped um, and as we got closer to the junction we could see that there was a police car stopping traffic and then the longest line came from the motorway of police vehicles a fire engine what looked like an army vehicle it was really really bizarre what travels around the UK with army vehicles, police escorts, and a fire engine escort. As we're at the South Central self-build meet, and we know who the queens of the meet are, I thought I'd take a leaf out of Lou's um, cookery book and give the boys something really nutritious for dinner. So this guy's landed in the field and he's about to take off again. So this will be interesting. He's just setting up his uh, paraglider thing. Try and wear it. Okay, so on like a rucksack, it's heavy. Okay. See, I can no, have no, everybody believe. If I give you 20 quid, will right. you start it? Turn this way, then, okay. <laughs> Let him just go. Okay. I'm going to be running this way. Yeah. So if everyone can stand at the sides of me, just like that. No problem. Great. Let's do it, Ben. How cool was that? Okay, so Darren, the main organizer of the show is here. I'm gonna have a few words with Darren. This is number 12 of the get-togethers. Fantastic. Um, this is the first one at this field, which belongs to uh, a group member called Alistair. He messaged me, says he's got uh, fields to use, if we would like to. Uh, so we've decided over here. And it's turned out very well. It's a, a nice site. It's fantastic. Um, There's a hundred yeah. vans. Uh, you had 78 last night, we've got a hundred tonight, and uh, there should be about a, bit, a few more tomorrow. So. We're trying to keep it to about 100 for the time being, due to COVID and whatnot. And but I do like the family feel of making it as um, absolutely, and it feels well. like that. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Everyone's usual, chatting. There's, there's plenty of kids. Yeah, we have usual suspects uh, every time, uh, <laughs> and then we've got new members and uh, people want stuff to do into their bands. Brilliant. And that's the thing about the show. So you guys help each other out. People get involved and jump in and. And yeah, do we, have, we have people who have the vans who want to build and they want some confidence and advice on how to do it. We have people who have built their vans and they want to give advice and help out. Yeah. And then there's other people who just want to come for a social get together. Sort That's of us. Thing. That's yeah. us. Yeah. 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 And me. Brilliant. And you as well. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, looking forward to it. I mean, the weather's on our side now. Yes. It's going to be kind of not too I'm, well. I'm not looking at the weather forecast for tomorrow. We'll okay. Let's not look at that. We'll leave it at that for now. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Not to look at your iPhone. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks. Thanks, Hopefully guys. Hopefully tomorrow if we can get um, a diesel heater fitted and a finish off a solar panel. So, yeah, hopefully. Hey, great. Hopefully we can take a look at that. Yeah, okay. Just load me up. I just need to be loaded up. Okay. I'm going to give you some good stuff in here. Go on, so give me some good stuff. Take it 
Oh! George, I'm going to get George! George, it down! It's not loaded! Oh! He's yeah. got the gun! Oh, yeah! <laughs> 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 going in for the... Is it ready to go? <laughs> yeah? Let me try it. Right. So, uh, go back again and then forward, yeah? How many you got in there though? Plan for your dad's garage, Nerf wall yeah. bunker. He says he'll put it. Uh, put he it said on if this video Airbnb. gets 9,000 likes, I get a Nerf wall bunker in Steve's garage. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, where's that other drone? Gone. It's up there. <laughs> it's moving uh, the way you yeah. want to go. I'm bigger than him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that yours, Lee? I said, I said it would be fantastic with a drone to get that sunset. Paul, what's what you got here, bud? It's a portable shower. And how much was that? Forty-six pounds. Oh, that's ago. fantastic. And you're saying two of you've had a shower this morning, have you? Yeah, and it's the fourth shower we've had with the same battery, not charging it up. Brilliant. That's fantastic. Thanks for showing me that, buddy. No problem. This one's really clever. It's got bunk beds. Look at the ceiling as well. Are you wandering around recording again, Kev? I am a wandering wombo. You are, aren't you? Yeah. Hey, good to see well, you, buddy. The, the wandering is spelt as, as thinking wombo. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be on my YouTube channel, then? I'll be on YouTube channel. She does. <laughs> <laughs> well, the best thing about these meets is the people you meet. And we've just met this lovely couple who've just second time out in the van, right? It is. Yes, it is. Yes, and built this during lockdown. I did. And you've got the bug now. I have. Definitely. Morning. Hello. I love your grandma. What's this say on the top here? Ambulance in Thai. Yeah. Fantastic. That's so <laughs> I love Thailand. Thank you. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Wow. You're right under there. Oh, I can't see you, but I can hear you. <laughs> it's okay, I'll talk to your knees. Uh, I am fitting magnetic blocks to my cupboards so that when I turn my ignition on, the, the cupboards lock because when I'm driving along, they just pop open. Gotcha. So everything falls out. So now I should have a little magnetic lock. Which means I don't have to like do the proper thing when people. Turn but that'll work on as you turn the ignition on. Yeah, so a little 12 volt magnetic door. Oh, locks. fantastic! It's so, a great idea. Yeah. So, but the danger is when I turn up wherever I go, turn off the key, everything will just pile out the cupboards <laughs> because it'll shift it when we're driving around. But, I'm sure it'll be all right. Yeah, fantastic! So what a great idea! That's very clever. Feeding time at the Radford, and we've got Rob joining us, Hello. and uh, a bit of a late breakfast. Hey. Brunch. 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 Yeah. Kids are having burgers. Grown ups are having breakfast rolls. Huge thank you to Barry and the people who donate to him and his man in the shed. Man shed? Men in shed Ty Wickham. Men in shed Ty Wickham. Yeah. Because they collect things and donate things and help each other out. And the. Um, the craft gifts that he's brought for the kids to play with this morning have kept them all busy all day. It's been wonderful. Hey Rosie. Hey. Hey. Uh, hi. Georgie, so you guys have built this this morning? Yeah. Fantastic. This is it so far. It's almost done. What's left to do? Um, we're just putting a bit of logging on the side and we're going to put this in. Somewhere. Fantastic. And here's our Dom with Simon. Hey, bud, all right? Hi, Loving this little uh, makeshift triangle awning you've made. Sail. Sail, that's what it is. Yeah, sail. It's a garden sail shade. It works well, mate. 
Dean, hiya. And about a bargain. Hi, Tesh. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good, good. You alright? Yeah, I'm good. Here's Archie and Rob. Hi, Archie. Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. All right? Awesome. Look at his oh. It's in his happy place, right? Oh, that's good boy. Hey, yeah. Totally different dog from earlier. Right. Simon. Show us your camper van. You've been spending a year building this, have you? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and uh, we've mainly been waiting for the floor to be welded. <laughs> so now, literally this week, I've got the... Oh, you should not supposed to see that. <laughs> <laughs> you nuts so. Here he is, all right? Yeah, you. Good, good. So, yeah, so definitely I want to come to this thing. On... You want to come to our meet? Yeah. Right, definitely. let's put this camera down and get your name down there. Um, we just walk, walked around and met Sharon. Yay! Yay! I did a twelve-hour remote. <laughs> totally memory. remembered. <laughs> totally remembered. And I'd had wine last night when we met. <laughs> you're at the show for fun, but also while you're here, you're going to have some work. You're going to have some help with some work on your van. Yeah, definitely. So yesterday, um, Nev helped me to put my twenty-four volt. I mean, two thirty volt mains hook up at the back. Brilliant. And then right now we're just putting my diesel heater in. So we've got the hole in. Yeah and I had to take some of my insulation out to leave room for the hole. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're just about now with Darren and Davina, we're both doing it at the same time to put all of the hoses and cables and everything in ready. Fantastic. Go in. I mean, she's getting good help. Yeah, well the thing is, it's funny, Davina and I are in the same boat. We've both had our diesel heaters probably for about 18 months. Oh. And we just felt really intimidated by it and a lot yeah. of the big jobs and things so coming here to the event is so invaluable because yeah. you know who knows when we'd have put them in otherwise <laughs> if left to our own devices whereas you know Darren the group leader is just amazing yeah he put my solar panel on last time I came fantastic and it's so. are, are you getting involved with doing it as well or is he doing yeah, it for no, you no 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 Darren, it, Darren is showing us exactly what to do and we're doing it brilliant Absolutely yeah. fantastic. Yeah, it's the best way. Yeah, definitely. So here's Darren doing another diesel heat install for Davina. Yes. Yes. Or oh, helping Davina. Okay. Yeah, I'm not doing it for direct her. Me, yeah. Direct right. me. Right. Fantastic. Let's have a look what's going on there. She's put a big hole in this in the van. Yeah, <laughs> that was quite frightening. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it was. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> fantastic. So the trick here is, Darren, that you don't do it for them, but you help them do it themselves, yeah. right? <laughs> and try and teach them to do it. Yeah. You're being facetious. Has he been a good yeah. teacher? <laughs> he's, he's amazing, he's amazing. Uh, he makes everything look extremely simple, which <laughs> I know it's not, but he's just got, the, you've just got that knowledge, haven't you, and that confidence to do it all. Yeah. Calm. Sure. Yeah, that yeah. too. And patient. Well, you've good got luck. a can-do attitude as well, because actually this morning when... Um, I got here, and everyone's got a different opinion, haven't they? Mm. And when I, when I put all the component parts out, people say, well, no, you can't do it because you need the turret. Right. Here, which I think, you know, yeah, that's gold standard to have that. But what we're doing, and because Darren's got experience in it, we're actually making that, that um, heat barrier here with a foil. And I know it's probably controversial because there's a right way to do it, but you know from experience that. I know something, you can put your hand there, and it'd be hot, but it's not too hot, you wouldn't burn yourself. Right. So the wood would be fine. Yeah, against so the, the wall there. Just a few, anyway. few layers of um, yeah. silver foil would be fine. Okay. So are you putting your sideways on then, Dina? Yeah. Am I? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I presume yes, I so, <laughs> given you're doing it so close to the wall. <laughs> there you go. We've just found Alan from Globe Trekker Travels. I have to get my teeth in properly for that. And he's been in his van for 12 and a half years now. It's actually 12 and a half years full time. Uh, this not in all in this van though. This one I've had for six years. Prior to this one, I had another um, medium wheel based sprinter, which unfortunately got rear ended in Spain back in 2015 and got shortened by about a meter. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to replace it and I've gone. This is my third sprinter though. Wow. But uh, yeah. And um, by Globe Trekker, I'm assuming you like to go around the world. Is there anywhere yeah. you've not been yet? Um, I've not been to Canada or to South America, I've okay. been to North America, uh, South Africa I've done, Australia and all those sort of places. But yeah, I'd like to do, ideally, a pipe dream, to go from Canada all the way down to Ushaya in the south. And I'd like to go to Mongolia and India. Wow. But, so whether I ever get there is another story. Or when um, you get 
when I get there. I'm 69 countries so far, so I've done a fair bit. But in comparison to other people, that's minuscule. Yeah. You know, I've got uh, a couple of people I met many, many years ago. Uh, they're in the Guinness Book of World Records at the moment for the most uh, number of countries visited in the same vehicle, and they've been on the road continuously for 41 years. Wow. <laughs> Can you imagine? Wow. <laughs> and it was in a Toyota Land Cruiser, long wheelbase la Land Cruiser. Yeah. Um, but they're in the Guinness Book of Records, and they've been for many years. Yeah, it's going to take some so, meetings. Yeah, they're up to something like 197 countries, I think it is. Well, there or thereabouts. So, yeah, I've got a long way to go. Yeah. And I'm, I'm never going to do it. So. Ah, <laughs> just pick the ones you really want to then. Yeah, yeah. It's all a question of finances as well. Yes, it's yeah. How do you fund this at the moment, Al? Um, originally from savings, but then because I'm an old, old AP, um, it's pension really. Right. Um, I only get a state pension. But I guess the overheads but, are low, right? Uh, yeah, for sure, yeah. 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 I mean, um, I rarely go into places where I'm paying. It's always wild camping and things like that. So overheads are pretty small. Yeah. So my main expense really is diesel. Right. You know, second from that is, is food. Um, but yeah, I live pretty cheaply. And I can, if I can live on the pension, which I generally can do, I mean, obviously there's always the time when you've got to pay out a little bit more tyres or, or whatever. But generally speaking, if I can live on the pension, that's fine because I've got savings in case of emergencies. So it's good. Savings and insurance. Yeah, I don't even bother with insurance, to be honest. I mean, obviously the van's insured, but I've never bothered with travel insurance or health insurance or anything like that. Unfortunately, I'm quite good in health respects, so, for my age, so I do pretty good. And where were you during lockdowns? Where did you find yourself? Um, well, we started, I was in um, uh, Tarifa, down in Spain, okay. which is where I met Eamon and Beck and Alex and all those. And then we went across to Morocco, which was mm. at the end of January. Um, but then, of course, the COVID came and we all got sort of locked down. I was lucky because the others had gone off to do their own personal things like kite surfing and the rest of it. I got a phone call from a friend of mine in Morocco who said, be careful because they're going to close the border. Um, and if they do, it's not going to be like in England where they're going to say the border closes next week or whenever. Yeah. They're going to say it's closed. <laughs> That's it. So I drove straight back up to Tangier Med and got the last ferry leaving Tangier to um, Spain and then uh, you know it's history from there because Eamon and Beck obviously they, they took a couple of months or so before they could get out yeah. Alex didn't get out until it was in November he mm. was happy about that we yeah, were talking I, to him about yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, like, but, he was all right. but yeah, yeah at the end of the day he was happy with it but he was nonetheless you know and if you think Eamon and Beck's van's still there mm. in the airport so yeah. you know um, so yeah it was a bit fraught last year but um, unfortunately you've got the double bubble now haven't we we've got not only the COVID, we got Brexit. Yes. So we got this 90 day rule. Yeah. Um, so this year, rather, I, I, I don't really want to stand the UK in the, in the winter. It yeah. does. So I'm hoping that if I can last out until the end of September mm. and then probably go three months now around Europe, hopefully by then the Moroccan borders open again and then I'll do three or four months in Morocco. Back to Europe for three months, it means I've only got to be back in the UK for one month a year. Yeah. I quite like that idea. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we'll see how things go. Yeah. You know, it's, no plan is the only plan, to be perfectly honest. So we'll yeah. see how things go. This is the dodgy map, because I can't say infamous, now I can, um, that we saw when you were travelling with Eamon and Beck. Can you tell everybody the full story who may have missed that? Basically, for those that didn't see it, last uh, in January of last year, I met up with Eamon Beck and a few others and we went to Morocco place I've been many times before so I should know better but this is the first time with that map on um, that I've been and as we come off the ferry we got to customs and the customs officers come out and they just have a, a little look over the van and immediately one of them walked across and said what is that and I said well basically it's the map of the world and he said no this bit is this bit and I, said, I don't understand he said this is no longer Western Sahara, this is part of Morocco. You must make it all one colour. And he made me colour it in, in a black felt tip pen. And I had another little map here, which is now well faded, but he made me cross out that as well and put that in black. <laughs> Purely and simply because he wouldn't allow me in the country if it, unless I'd done it. Well, thank you for sharing the story. Thank, thank you, you, Anna. You're welcome. We have found the most beautiful van. Would you like to introduce yourselves? 
Hi, uh, I'm Emily. And I'm Adam. <laughs> <laughs> um, you've done it yourself. You yeah. did the layout yourself. What, when you were building it, what was the most important for you in terms of layout? Why did you pick the layout that you've got now? We, we, we had a, a short wheelbase, small top transit yeah. um, that we had done. It had a pull-out bed um, and our daughter, who's 10, would sleep across the front, front seats. Mm. Um, we went to one one meet, didn't we? And we were like way too small, so had to have that. Had to be bigger, but we wanted a fixed bed, didn't we? Because it's a pain pulling out. And then the sofa needed to be wide enough to sleep sleep her on it because yeah. she was getting too long over the seats anyway. Um, so that was the main reason, wasn't it? We wanted yeah. it nice and easy, and yeah, we've got loads of storage in there as well. We've actually got two empty cupboards yeah. at the moment where we just haven't needed to use it which is quite nice. It's always nice to have spare storage, mm. isn't it? <laughs> Empty cupboards. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Put my hood up because it's about to rain. But look at the graphics on this. I'm wanted on Fine Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, nobody watches our channel anyway. <laughs> Steve. Very nice Hi. to meet you. I'm Lindsay. Yeah. Hi, Lindsay. Pleased to meet you. Apart, oh, apart from your, your beard and your moustache looking interesting, your trailer, your van looks really interesting. It's beautiful. Uh, I, I built it about six years ago when there weren't many videos I had to, to, help. to help and to sort of compare. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a caravan prior to that. And the guy yeah. that come and does the annual hab check, I said to him, look, I'm thinking about doing a self build. And he said, uh, no, don't do it. He said, you make a right pig's ear out of it. I've seen so many, you'd be embarrassed to go on a campsite. You'd be the laughing stock. Don't do it. I hope you took that as a challenge. I've, he threw the gauntlet down. Yeah. And I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to do it to the best of my ability. And if I get embarrassed, I'll just sell it on. And yeah. this, you know, I've ticked the bucket list, so to speak. Yeah. So I just went and hammer on tongs for, you know, no restrictions within reason. Yeah. Um, so it is what it is today. Fantastic. Fantastic. I love this outside bench. Yeah, it's, I mean the belly lockers, so it just makes it's brilliant. You know, sense so to, clever to use them. How long did it take you to do? Okay, so start to finish, probably about six months. Okay. Um, a lot of long hours, weekends, evenings. It was a labour of love. Yeah, and you. It, this wasn't the original form, this isn't the original box that was on when you No, so we took the old box body off and the box as you see it originally was a ex-prison van um, and we blocked up all the holes, all the roof holes, the uh, side windows, put a new roof on, new back end on um, and disguised it from what it was yeah. and then we cut all the new windows and then went along taking all the cells out was an absolute nightmare. Yeah. Probably five weeks of just stripping it out because they're built so strong. Yeah. Right. Um, and then we carried on rebuilding, cutting new windows and then all the interior work. What's the, sig the significance of the signature motorhomes? So my thinking was every signature is unique to them. Yeah. So this vehicle is unique to me. So I tied it in with that. So I named it as Signature Metrops. It was never going to be a business venture. It's a one-off. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a one-of-one one Signature Metrops. Brilliant. Brilliant. One-of-one. Nev, it was awesome meeting you. Fantastic meeting you. Thank you so much for telling the story about your van. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a happy camper. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> this is your converted ambulance, is it? Uh, yes. Uh, not quite finished, but... Are they ever? No, my <laughs> second one. Uh, this is my second one. I had a box ambulance sprinter before uh, when I came down to Limington a year and a half ago. But I got the bug and I wanted to do another one. So fantastic. Uh, Mind if we have a quick look? No, not at all. Thank you. How long have you had it? Um, I got it in January. Um, I couldn't really do a lot till the other one sold because they just suck your money, don't they? Yeah. Right. Um, so I had to wait for the box ambulance. I started stripping some of the cabinets and resolving some of the issues electrically with it um, before I sold the other one. I think my other one sold in, oh, it was March or April, and we've had the bad weather, so I couldn't really get on with it. Um, so it's been a mad, well, every 
every moment that I'm off work, I've been on it till ridiculous time at night sometimes. But it looks beautiful. Uh, but beautiful. it's getting there, thank you. Let's go check on how Sharon's diesel heater ins installation is going. Hello. Hello. You're right. <laughs> How's the install going? I think you better ask Darren. He's doing all the hard work. That's why we have a Darren. Someone gets claustrophobic under the van, so. I did. I started getting under the van and started getting panicky. So oh, okay. I was like, oh, had to get out quick. <laughs> Nearly done, are you? Is it nearly done? There's still a quite a few... Uh, yeah, we won't, nil... we won't finish this one because the kitchen's not built where the uh, where it's going to go. And I haven't um, wired, done all the electrics yet either, but everything under the van will be done. So literally, when I do the inside of the van, it'll be really easy. Right, broken the back of it at least. Yes, definitely. Yeah. The worst part will absolutely be done. <laughs> which I'm very grateful for. And the bit under the van that you don't want to do will be done. Yes. I did some of it under the okay. van, but not much. <laughs> so it's the England game tonight, so I think we'll put a little bet on, shall we? Right, I'm on Sky Bet. Let's choose uh, England to win, of course. Um, I don't know, £100. Okay. Let's hope our boys win. You alright, love? You need a hand with that. I'm just going to walk you because so you can see it's slipping and slipping. I'm like, I've got kind of one hand here. No, I'm just con concentrating and not spilling my wine. So here we are, set up here for the game. To break down this. This is easy money. We're what, four minutes in and we've scored the first goal? Oh. Huh? Hey! Yay! Right, going back for refreshments, go and grab a bottle of wine. And what's the last half? Okay. Villa Maria, let's head back for the second half. You all right? Yeah, all right. Are you eating again? <laughs> We're eating nuts, man. Two nuts. Nuts. These nuts. Barbecue goes in 50 nuts. I'm good, thanks. And the referee is not going to add anything on. How cool was that? But there we go, we're 45 quid better off. Fantastic, good little bet that. Great game, 4-0. Right, now for the evening antics. guys our very first south central self-build meetup yeah it's really lovely weekend we got to catch up with old friends and make some new friends that was lovely yeah. we were made feel very very welcome i must say i don't think they realized we didn't have a self-build <laughs> but it isn't it isn't just about self-builds it's no. about you know everyone just getting together in the field and helping each other and that's what we saw this weekend mm. everyone mucking in and sharing you know, if someone's good at insulation, they're helping somebody insulate. If someone's good at electrics, they're helping them with the electrics. We saw the diesel heater installs. Yeah, didn't we? flooring as well. We saw with that. Yeah. Brilliant. So, this is what these meets are great for. And like I say, everyone is welcome. So, it's a proper community. It's a proper community. Thank you for welcoming us yes. into your community. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you on the next time.